What up, though? Welcome back to Landing on Mars podcast, the dopest podcast in the galaxy. I am your host, Nestor the Spitter, a.k.a. Nestor on Mars, a.k.a. you can call me whatever you want to call me, but you cannot call me broken, you cannot call me lazy. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. For everybody, for anybody that has been waiting for an episode, you know what, I really appreciate y'all. You know, Sundays is landing on Mars Sundays, and we're going to keep that going. Um, yeah, man, I I never really want to just bring y'all little, you know, I never want to drag on the topic. I always want to give y'all some type of knowledge. I always want to bring y'all with some bring y'all with some positivity, man, because, you know, we live in a world, we live in a world where there's not a lot of positivity out there. And as far as with the rap, the rap music, as far as with the music, you know, we had we had Ja Rule and Fat Joe have a verses, and I wasn't really in tune for that. But um, I think one thing with the verses, I was talking to my barber about this. It's like diplomats, Dipset, and the Locks. They set a they set a specific bar for verses, which they were going back and forth. They were talking mess. And these are two groups that are so gutter, you didn't know if it was going to pop off at any moment. You know what I mean? Because you got the locks that come from Yonkers. You got um, diplomats or dipsets that come from Harlem. These are two These are two neighborhoods that do not, you know, they don't tolerate that little sissiness. So you never, you never knew if it was going to pop off. And everything after that, is they're trying to compete with that. Like when you had Jeezy versus um Gucci man, it was just it was its own setting. Like it was it was more so about like what was about to be squashed because of the heated beef that they did have in the beginning of, of their careers. So, you know, I personally think that versus is kind of getting watered down. Um if they if they kind of if they kind of bring up a different method and a different a different way of bringing it to life, I think, you know, I think it could come back. But, of course, like, you got J. Cole, he's on tour. Um, don't really know what that tour's called, but I know that one kicked off. Um, I believe um, he brought out, who was it? He brought out um, Drake on his first, I think it was his first or second date. And he's on tour with 21 Savage, you know, Dreamville, they're, they're all with him. And then you got um, Back Outside Tour, which is Lil Durk and... The um, little baby, they're on tour. They brought out, I believe it was Nicki Minaj, Rowdy Rich, and Chris Brown. So, you know, people are back outside. People are wanting to go to concerts, you know, like people are wanting to do these events. People are wanting to be out. No one's really listening and watching their phone the way they were when lockdown was around, you know, like people are really out there and people are really doing more, which is cool. You know what I mean? Which is cool. Like as long as, you know, me, I, I, I believe in safety first. Like I have a wife. I mean, I'm soon to have a wife, man. You look at that. I'm ready to get married, man. Like you, you dig, but I have a fiance. I have a family. I have my dogs, you know, like I try to personally protect everybody around me. Like, Yes, you don't want to wear a mask, and whether people are for it, people are not, you know, man, like, to each his own, man, like, I'm not going to hate you for what you believe in, please don't hate me for what I believe in, but I think people are so, it's, this is a so, this, this topic is so sensitive that people are not willing to put the pride to the side and, you know, put the BS to the side and, like, talk about this, and, you know, this, to me, I'm not going to sit here and waste my time on, on, on that, but, all I'm saying is that things are opening up. People want to have fun, you know, like we, me, me and my fiance, the family, we were in Disney, you know, had a, had a great vacation, but you know, we were still cautious on what we did because you, you don't want to be scared to go live. You don't want to be scared to be on the outside and you don't want to be scared. You know, you just want to be able to live life and be happy. No, to me, if you put God in front of all of that, you know, what you're good. And I'm not going to sit here and talk about religion, nothing like that. No, you know, Everybody, like I say, man, to each his own, you know, that like it is what it is. That's that's life, man. Like we live in the United States of America, which is land of the free. So, you know, we're like anybody is able to feel how they want to feel at any given moment. And like shout out to the boy Tizzle Nizzo. Um, if y'all have not if y'all have not seen or heard any of his music, yo, I'll, I'll try to put a description in, in my, I'll put, I'll put a link in my description so y'all could, y'all could get in tune with him, 
His homie's doing a lot, man. Like, um, he was supposed to be on the podcast, but the way I get busy, he gets busy. This this is a rapper, a salesman, uh, a video vlogger, a Twitch player or a Twitch streamer, you know, so he's always doing something. And, like, the last time me and him were talking and he was telling me, like, yeah, man, like, I'm always busy and my girl, like, and this was in the beginning. I've had a conversation with him recently and now he's, you know, things are getting... You know, things are a whole lot better, you know, because like, he was like, yeah, man, he's like, in the beginning, he was like, yeah, man, like, um, talking to my girl, man, like, you know, I, I get busy, I don't, I don't want to, like, not spend time with her, and when he told me that, it just made me think about me and my fiance, because, of course, if I didn't give my fiance the attention, and if I wasn't there for my fiance the way I am, I don't think I'd be on the path of getting married, so ultimately, in my in my personal view, I feel like it's a balance, man. Like you, you have to be able to balance what you're doing because you never want to be, you never want to buffer. You never want to be in the same spot at once f for too long. You know what I mean? You want to continue to move. You want to continue to move forward. You want to continue to lev level up, you know? And as much as I work, as much as I'm on the road, you know, it was crazy. I, I went to Texarkana and it was, it was pretty dope. Um, my fiance was off on Thursday and Friday, so... I was able to have company with me when I went to Texarkana with her. And then on Friday, I was off. She was off. You know, we had we had a day with us. Like, and we had two, we had two beautiful days for ourselves, like just for us to be hang out, just us for us to just be chilling. I found that very comforting, you know, because like I'm always on the go. I'm always in like in San Antonio. I got business in San Antonio. I got business in Kyle now. You know, I'm always on the road, you know, last week I did a 21 hour, 21 hour and a half drive to Amarillo and I'm always on the go, man. I don't got time to just wait and worry about what the next person is doing. You know, I applaud anybody that is doing something for themselves. Anybody that goes to work nine, 10 hours, comes home and works on themselves for two to three hours, you know, recording the setup. The editing, all this takes time. And this is time you're taking away from whether it's your family, whether it's your dogs, whether it's whatever you're taking your time away from. You know, you got to know when to say, hey, you know what, let me let me clock out for the day and let me spend time, you know, because at the end of the day, you don't get time back. Time is like once you you lose an hour, you never get that hour back. You could always get another hour, but you're never going to get that specific hour back. I think like, you know, when it comes to me, I feel like, you know, grind, grind, grind. And communication is one of the biggest things that I've come to learn and I've come to really embrace talking to older couples, talking to other couples and really asking like, hey, man, what what's the key to y'all's relationship? Not the key to love, not the key to, you know, a relationship because everybody's relationship is totally different because, Another person is not like me. Another person is not like me. Like not, not like my fiance. So, any relationship is going to be different. But ultimately, the one thing you're going to hear is communication, and I feel communication is where it needs to be. I feel like communication is, is key, man. Like you know, communication will take you around the world. You know, like as long as you let out what you have going on in your head, and as long as you express yourself, I think I think that'll be. I think that's the best thing you can do. You know in a relationship and like that and like I say that's just me personally in my relationship that I say you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna communicate I'm not I'm not a telekinesis like I can't read minds and yo ultimately I feel like it's communication man you have to be you have to be able to have a communication to understand what you got going and what you're doing and you know man you just gotta hold it down for yourself and I think I think that's what it is I think it's a balance that you gotta have for yourself and like like I said, man, I'm I'm always a hustler. I'm I'm always hustling. I've always hustled. I've always been a hustler. But I always been a hustler that had nothing as far as I didn't have another I didn't have a significant other. So I was selfish. It was always just about me, me, me. If I got paid and I wanted new shoes, I got new shoes. If I got paid and I decided to be broke, I was going to be broke. You know, but at this particular point, me, me grinding the way I grind, me traveling the way I travel, me, me doing the yards that I do, you know, like I said, now I like, I really take my small business really serious, you know, like one thing I do know about is customer service and I'm always going to make sure my customers are satisfied because, you know, it's a service that I provide for them 
And like I said, man, this I got myself into a business that I feel like is something that I could understand, something that I could do. And I'm going to continue to roll with it, man. And move in silence, man. You don't have to announce everything you're doing. You know, move in silence. Let people let people see the outcome before and let them get confused. Like, when did this happen? It's not your business. It's not your business on what I'm doing. It's not your business on what anybody else is doing. The one thing that you have to do for yourself is do it for yourself. Because when you start doing things for... And we and we live in the era right now where likes, follows, those are what matter. <laughs> and <clears throat> people do get paid off of TikTok. People do get paid off of YouTube. People get paid off of that, but you have to have that content to make people want to come back and for people to want to be like, hey, I want to be involved in that. You know what I mean? And ultimately, it's it has to be lucrative for anybody that's around you, anybody that wants to, let's say they want to invest. It has to be lucrative for them as well, not just you, because people, like, people with money don't have the problem putting up the money, but... If they're putting up a thousand, they want to make two thousand back. There's no point of putting in money and then not getting a profit. Anything you do, you should always want to have a profit. Once you have, once you start having profit for yourself, that's what it's about. Like, you know, people wanted to, people want to have money. People want, some people want to, some people consider rich being rich on internet rich. And then some people really want to have that old school where it's like, yo, you could have the fame. You could have the followers. I want the money. And that's where I'm at, man. You know what I mean? Like any, anything that I do, I don't feel I don't go and tell the whole world. I just, you know, I do it for myself, man. Like I talk to very few people, um, talk to myself a lot. But yeah, man, you, you, you have to. And like even with this episode, like it's not even the fact of like I just been busy. I've been busy right now. I had the time. My fiance is busy right now, so it gave me a chance to say, you know what, let, let me take some time and let me do this. And, like, this is a short episode, of course. Like I said, I have a lot of big things coming up. I have, a, and I'm, and like I said, I keep saying that, and I'm not going to string y'all on. That's why I don't really talk about that. I just want y'all to see the outcome when the outcome is here. But, um, yeah, man, understand with in a relationship, you got to have communication. And your hustle, you got to keep your hustle to yourself. Tell the, the people that matter, the people that are in your life, those are the ones, those are the only ones that need to know what's going on with yourself. And, you know, some people are going to keep up, some people are not going to keep up. But at the end of the day, the ones that do are the ones that do, the ones that don't are the ones that don't. And like I said, man, I'm the type of person that I show support to everybody. I look out for everybody. I've never been the type of person to, you know, hate on anybody. I always congratulate people. And, it, and, you know, sometimes, like, I was talking to the homie Tizzle Nizzle today, and he's like, man, you know how you could hustle, hustle so much, and you never feel like you get it back. And you know what? I know how that is, because I'm the type of person that I like people's posts. I like this. I'll share this. But when it comes to me, I don't get that back. And I'm at the point, it's like I never expect anything back. If I get a like, cool. If I don't, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But I've understood. I understand that people are gonna be people, and I'm gonna be me. I never really look for people's approval. I never really look for people to be happy for me. Like a lot of times, people are not. You know, people are not even happy with themselves. Low, <laughs> letting that let, like. So how can they be happy for you when they can't even be happy for themselves? You know, and that's the thing about me, man. Like I look out for everybody. I went through a a time where everything was so dark for me. Happiness was just a thought that disappeared as soon as it went in my head, you know? So now I'm at the point where, you know, I could sit here and say, I'm happy. I could sit here and say that I'm on the path to being that person, man. I'm on the path to being the person I need to be for myself. And I think at the end of the day is the most important thing, because like I said, man, one thing you can't get back is time. And one thing that you can never borrow is time. One thing you can never buy is time. So as long as you, you're, putting that right time into good effort into good things then you're gonna do your thing man shit but um i really appreciate y'all chilling with me chopping it up for a little bit i just want i kind of really wanted to be on video i wanted to do an editing i wanted to 
just do some work, man, because, you know, I'm not going backwards. We're going forward. And like I said, hopefully next week, hopefully on the next one, you will see T-Nizzle. Tizzle Nizzle, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, man. I'm real bad with names. But that boy Tay, you know, he 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 knows it's all respect. He knows he knows it's all love, man. But um, hope everybody out there has a wonderful Saturday going into your Sunday. Y'all be safe. Y'all be positive. Hold it down. Be good. Be blessed. And have a good night. Y'all.